Okay, so, uh, sorry if I went quiet a bit sooner than I had expected in the previous video. Uh, yeah, there was a phone call and I just, um, yeah, you didn't, need, you didn't need to hear all that, but... Okay, so we are moving on. I think I have something um, important to say about, about here, if you haven't uh, come to the conclusion yourself already. Spaceships managed to take off from here. No. What was that? Xion! Chief, where are you going? There's something over here. I'm not sure if you remember this, but uh, or, or recognize this, I should say. But this is actually right from the intro of the game. This is where Kevin, not then Winnicott, took it his first like steps to platform. becoming the Red Testament. Is there something here? I don't know. It's sadness? Fear? I just feel something here. Hello. I never thought we'd meet in this place. I must remember to thank God, Jin Uzuki. Pellegrin? I have nothing further to say to you. We must stop the disaster that's happening on this planet. But neither Thomas nor the Federation matter at this point. No reason to fight. Do you know what this place is? This place? You set foot on this land without knowing anything about it? This land is the birthplace of Ormus. The birthplace of Ormus? Yes. Those born in this land were called the people of Zohar. The Zohar project, which your Federation pursued so vehemently, was originally brought into the world by us. So that is the heritage you care so much about? The people of Zohar arrived to this planet after their long, wandering journey. We were the people who protected the Zohar, and the relics of God for generations. The Federation usurpers realized the potential of the Zohar, and invaded this planet. Killing its people, in order to obtain the Zohar. And the result is this. The current state of this planet is the manifestation of your Federation's ego and desires. We swore revenge, and vowed to restore this land so we may return to our fatherland. It is the destiny of my people who've lived on with the Zohar. It is the word of our god. So that is the truth behind Milsha? It's true that you may be victims as well, but that doesn't justify what you did on Milsha. There's no need to justify. The words of god represent justice. Our existence defines truth. History shows that those who speak of the word of God have never represented what is right. All they've displayed was deception, 
falsehood and aggression. Yes, deception. It's true that it was all deception. What we did was all meaningless. What? Yes, there is no longer a need for a reason. I am here now. This is my reason for being. Jin, remember that you are free. You can freely accept or reject anything you please. But I'm different from you. I can never join you. This was fated from the beginning. Then at least, I'll end it with my own hands! Pelagree! Okay, so Pelagri is back once more for a good beating. Now, back on Mirsha. Well, I, I can accept that uh, it would have felt uh, somewhat satisfying to uh, well, fight her back then. But now it just it just feels pointless somehow. I mean, uh, not in a sort of bad way. It's just um, uh, I mean it's getting immersed into the thing. I mean, th this is really not a fight that had to happen. But the character Pelagree chose to challenge us here, and so we have to fight this battle. No. If they had made... It, Attacking. Well, if the series had remained as a six-part series, or, or a double trilogy, this would probably have been a really sad fight. Don't make me angry. I mean, uh, sad as in emotion. Um, we sort of really not. I mean, we would probably really not want to. Oh. Yeah, fight and defeat Pelagri here. I mean, it's no fun now either, but it would, it would probably have been, you know, more, <laughs> more difficult otherwise. Oh, and look at that, she just annihilated our Asher. We aren't happy with that, so... Nasty Ormus functionary dignitary. Here I am.
I am. Well, that kind of sucks. Um, okay, uh, you know, I chose not to edit this out because, I, I mean, yeah. Just to show you that this can happen. Okay, so we are um, going right back into the fray. I'll just um, double check my equipment a bit first to uh, yeah uh, I probably need D beam although I don't think I can actually equip that with just anyone It looks like I will have to enter the fight without D-Beam. Mm, I can do it without the counter. But will that help? Okay. I'll just have to be more careful. So, watch me skip some cutscenes and. Um, very soon now. Hmm. Actually, these scenes, uh, wouldn't, wouldn't they have been, you know, <laughs> slightly more macabre if those uh, notified people would have shattered when we moved past them or touched them in any way I never thought we'd meet in this place I must have I know I really would have <laughs> been somewhat upset at seeing that but anyway let's just yeah get into this fight and fucking do it
I think you've seen most of this before. It's, it's uh, <laughs> the same fight as before, only this time I will be a bit more careful about the uh, Moloch Laser. But, um, yeah, one thing at a time. I'll worry about that when I get there. Here I am! That one. So where is more going to do? We should survive the uh oh Mala. Malak of course is um, a ship from Free Space 2, an enemy ship, but uh, yeah, that's something else entirely. Okay. So charge up the light brigade or something? Okay, well, we survived that, so... Oh, 
Oh, look at that. Huh, okay, well, that wasn't all that difficult, I guess. Okay, so I'll be quiet and there will be stuff happening for some time. Enjoy uh, the time without me. Bail out, Pellegrin. There's no sense in you dying. You don't have to accept it. I told you, it doesn't matter anymore. Each person must walk on their own path. Your path and mine just simply did not cross. Then come on. Fight me one more time. Survive so that you can defeat me. <sighs> but I can't. I can't fight anymore. I'm tired. Farewell, Jin Uzuki. Pellegrini! Jin! Yes, again. Hey, old man, what's wrong? Ziggy, are you okay? I may know where the Zohar is. Really? Where? My memory isn't complete. But there was once a facility where the Zohar was studied. We should head there. Why did you keep something like that a secret this whole time? I wasn't keeping it a secret. My memory is fragmented, not linked properly. It seems I tried to seal it subconsciously. What? How come? Even cyborgs get nightmares. I tried to... Nightmare? That place is the stage of my nightmare. It is an abominable place. Well, yeah. Tell agree. I would have really liked if we would have been uh, sort of more invested in her character at this fight. Uh, well, I mean, she, it's obviously a pointless fight. Uh, she's just sort of caught up in the whole events, similar to how we are. Only she decided to, well, go ahead with um, Ormus's, well, ambition. I will not put any, <laughs> uh, well, moral bias on their goals, but yeah. She, ob she could obviously see that this was just really a bad idea, but yeah, fuck it. <laughs> she went ahead and did it, did it anyway, because uh, that was being true to her. Well, the decisions she'd made in her life. And so, bada boom, sucks to be you, bye bye. Well, there have been fights like that in previous, well, in games I've played in the past, and, uh, well, none of them have really... <laughs> yeah. Well, 
I, I don't mean to say that uh, I um, felt the emotional Im impact of this fight so very strongly, but out of all such fights I have seen in past games, um, you know, even including uh, Wing Commander 4, actually. Well, but that, that's um, that, that's a very different game, of course. Uh, but yeah, th this fight is well. The fight with Pellegrini is probably the uh, uh, saddest, um, <laughs> pointless, and sad uh, fight I have um, ever fought. So yeah. DSP2, that is another accessory I um, will not use, I'm sorry to say. Well, it is uh, nice for SP gain, of course, but yeah. That is not more of a concern than staying alive at this point. At least in the fights where you actually gain any SP worth a damn. Okay, so just clearing up the area, gathering pressures, and whatever else there happens to, or whatever else happens to, lie around. They get have such powerful attacks anyway. Ah, whatever. Comparing this to the uh, sunken city of Old Milsha in um, episode two, this this place doesn't really feel as dilapidated as um, Old Milsha did. At least to me. Probably the uh, lighting here. It is kind of bright and you know <laughs> not a sunset. But would I uh, have preferred if they did it differently? I'm honestly not sure. It would have been... Well, you know, I really would have liked to see what this place would have been like if this would have taken place during the night. Alas, I shall never know. Okay, so we are coming up at the end of the video, just um, going to ravage these guys here and um, I shall see you at the church. <laughs>